Hello guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna show you how to write down in MATLAB a small code that allows you to play rock paper scissors. So this is the window as it show up and you have three main areas. This is the instruction box so I'm gonna translate from Italian because it's my language in English. So instructions. Uh, you have three seconds to choose between rock, paper or scissors. You can play as long as you want, so there is not a fixed goal here for the points. And the left side in blue is player's choice. The right side is computer's choice. Then you have three buttons to make your own choice. Rock, sasso. Paper, carta. And scissors, forbici. And then there, there is the start button and close. So when you're ready, you can just press, you just want to press the start button and begin. Or close the window if you don't want to play. So let's try. You have three seconds, as you can see. I pick uh, scissors. Oh, so I won. He picked paper. So the score is set to one. And uh, everything is reset to start over. So let's try with paper this time. Oh, I lost. You picked scissors. So the computer's choice is completely random. So it, it's not predictable in such a manner. I picked rock this time. And I won again. I picked the scissors. And you can continue as you, as you want. So let's take a look to the program. I'm gonna link it in the, in the description, so don't worry, you can figure it out yourself if I forget to say th something. So um, here I'm gonna create some uh, buttons and graphical uh, things in the window. So I'm gonna label the window uh, with the name game and I'm gonna um, make it show up at the center of the screen uh, with uh, as an associated function called uh, close game so when I press the close button it just destroys the window and sets everything to normal so these are the uh, three buttons rock, paper and scissors uh, each of those are associated to the input function input 1, input 2 and input 3 I'm gonna define this function later. So, um, other things here in purple as are just some characteristics, uh, such as the um, the string, uh, which is which shows you uh, which button you're gonna press. The style, these are push buttons, so you can push it with the left side of um, the left button of your mouse. Then the, I'm gonna define the instruction box, and Play, computer score, player score, start, close, announcements for the countdown and the final result of your game. So tight game, you won, you lost, as you, as you will see. And uh, this area is associated to the color red, and it's for computer choice. And this is blue, and uh, for player's choice. So, um, I'm gonna set uh, two different va variables for score, player score, and computer score. Both are set to zero because we want to start from nothing. So mm, there, there is no reason to set them from something div di uh, not zero. And then this is pretty important. I'm gonna um, define the m variable associated with player's choice and the L variable associated with the computer's choice. So let's take a look to the input functions we have here. So function input1 just um, is associated with the uh, button rock as I stated before. So when I press rock M is set to 1. It's just um, my decision though. You can call, uh, call it as you want. Or also 2 or 3 or what, what you want. So when I pick rock, the my choice is gonna be set to one to number one, and here I'm gonna update the area, the player's area called uh, player's uh, choice rock, 
and then I'm gonna set everything off uh, so that you can ch make uh, many choices simultaneously just one for per game then uh, in a similar way I'm gonna define the function input 2 for paper and here the M is set to 2 and in, sim in a similar way uh, these are uh, other buttons are set to off input 3 is for scissors and M is equal to 3 so these are just the input functions let's take a look to the begin function so when I press the start button this is gonna be called the function begin so um, first thing uh, the um, computer's choice is uh, sorted randomly between 1 and 3 so it's um, uh, positive integers between 1 and 3 1, 2 or 3, just that as simple as that so uh, then uh, every button for my choice is gonna show up there are set to enable on so some of these instructions are pretty intuitive you you won't have problem to figure it out and um, when I press the start button, the start button itself is put to off to avoid issues or problems with the program and uh, as well as the close button is set to off then I'm gonna sh uh, set the announcement string to on so it's visible when I press the start button the string is visible and it shows a, a tree then it reproduces a sound May you might have recognized it is from Undertale which is the count or the countdown sound so the basically is um, build up in this way you press start the announcement is set to visible the announcement is set to 3 then it reproduces the sound the beep then it's gonna pause for one second set the, s the string to 2 and so I realized the countdown and so on when when it's reached you have one second and then uh, the string is set to go so your time is up announcement is set to off at this point and you have to uh, choose something otherwise you're gonna lose the game automatically so this is the important part so um, pay attention uh, the in with this common I'm gonna um, switch the computer choice if computer choice is one then computer pick actually rock two for paper and three for scissors so now we have two variables two numbers completely uh, comparable and this is gonna be the classification so if both play, uh, players uh, pick the same number so the same choice it's gonna be a tied game and nothing is gonna happen no score updated just post three seconds and start over then uh, if I win so this is these are the cases you just you can just check check it out so if uh, if I'm gonna win then the announcement string is set to you won and you can hear the victory sound so here just a, a small issue is uh, related to the wave read function for uh, compatibility but it doesn't really matter so just use wave read as long as you have a uh, 2014 version of MATLAB so the score is gonna be updated but it's still a number MATLAB wants a string to write in the in the window in the box so I'm gonna convert number to string and then put the string to player score this is this instruction is made for update the score and so on if you if I lost if I lose the game it's uh, made in a similar way then uh, everything starts over the variables are reset and um, also the various button and areas this is to close the game delete delete the window I called Joko which means game so this is the program I hope you, you enjoyed it uh, I think it's rather simple easier than it looks and I just mm, put the, the code in the description download it and person custom it uh, as you want so that's all as you can see I am working on Space Invaders uh, for a future release so stay tuned and have a nice day